but obviously now that you've taken it apart and you know how to, you can do it again if necessary. So, how to put it back together? Well, first things first, make sure everything that was part of it is in your presence. So, this little doodad here, see, the barrel will push back on it, yoink, and when it does that, that little valve activates and blasts some air through there and shoots it out the barrel. So, there's that thing, here's this thing, and let's put this back where it goes and make sure the spring gets back into its place. Come on, you bastard. The crowd expects you to participate. Alright, there we go. There's that. Let's slide this guy into here. Mm -hmm. Smooth. Come on, you shum bitch. Alright, here we go. Now that thing's in. Great. Now let's get the spring back in here. Because for some unearthly reason it popped back out. Okay, now that's in. Mm, let's have that barrel there ready. The tricky part, this one. Let's see, make sure that's on there good. Mm, and we're gonna wanna fit this in all nice and neat. So this part, it's this direction, with the L up and some like that so make sure this part this little axle thing of a jigger pin fits into its hole that it's supposed to go to and it'll be obvious once you get into your own and try to fix the problem Alright, get that spring back in there. Now the barrel, which I might have actually wanted to get in there and in between there before attempting this. Before attempting putting it all back together all at once. Just wiggle it on in. There we go. Now we oop and Let's see. It's in there. It works. Now I don't want to forget this uh, feed mechanism here. Put this into there, that weight thing. And then don't forget the springs. And especially don't forget the two pins we would have set aside. Get off. Just slide those in. And already we're up to 15 minutes. So not only will it take you a while to watch this, but it's going to take me forever to upload. So we all lose. We all lose together. There's a certain direction this will fit in, but pretty sure you'll see it when you get in yours once again. Just you gotta match up that notch right there with the notch right here, so. E.
There we go. You stay there. Then this feed mechanism spring goes right there. Remember when I first did it and I got halfway, well, I was all the way putting it back together and I forgot about this. So, now that's in. And so, everything is back in its place. This thing's tightened up and fixed. There should be no leak from now on. And now we can close it back up. But first, something I just noticed. This trigger mechanism. There's a little spring here. You're going to want to make sure this fits right against there. Right up against there. So, now that that's been done, we can move on to closing it up once and for all. And the surgery is complete. And the patient will be out in no time. Now you may think, okay, video's over, right? 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 No. Surgery's not over till you close up the patient. And I'm going to guide you through it every step. Okay. Now, this one screw at the front here is the longest screw in the entire gun. And that's because it goes for this. And this has got to slide on into here and hold all of this down. There we go. So, while doing so, you can adjust it and stuff to allow for the screw to slide into place just right. Screw number one. Mm hmm. And it's going to take a while to get in because it's a long one. All right. Cha ching. It's good. Now, safe, dangerous. And the trigger mechanism still works, which is a good thing to make sure before you close the entire thing up, obviously. You don't want to have a mistake. You got it all put together. You're anxious to get it going, and then it doesn't fire. Screw here. Screw there. Just make sure you get all of them. No real order. Just make sure you get them and tighten them up. Eighteen minutes. This is a long video. Maybe I could have made it shorter, but this won't give me views or likes, but it'll give people answers. There. We're almost done. Now, this one case here. This one little cover piece that is for some reason becoming much more difficult than it should be. Mm-hmm. And gotcha. Alright. Now, swap. Flooded. Get in there. Alright. Done. And done. And it will fire now. But for my own dignity and uh, honor, I won't put a CO2 tank in and test it just yet. I'll let you know in the comments if this actually worked. <laughs> but since I'm confident it did, well, okay, I'm confident it did. But basically that's how you can take apart and fully reassemble your DAISY 15XT Powerline CO2 BB pistol. So, if you need any other help, just feel free to leave a comment 
or send a message or something. And I might get back to it. So, to 21 minutes of information, have fun and be safe with this thing because it is scary, dangerous. Just kidding. What's this? Another scene, a bonus feature. So you guys thought I was done. Well, I'm not. So, it actually does work. Now, it fires. Hold CO2, it's got pressure. No leaks that I can hear. Maybe the camera could, but there's no longer a stream of failure, shame, and misery, and disappointment shooting out the ass end. It holds pressure tanks in there good and it fires like a charm there's no BBs in it yet so I, mean, I wouldn't fire in my house I would but I wouldn't just fire it where my TV was so it works uh, go ahead and let me know if this solved your problem or any other problems that you may have had related to internal mechanisms and parts and uh, basically the way the gun works so uh, go ahead and like it, subscribe, leave a comment, Always comments are always welcome, and g recommend to someone you know if they have a similar problem or if they have a similar gun. Once again, Powerline Model 15XT CO2 BB Pistol from Daisy. Take pride, it's a Daisy, and I do.